Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. May Allah bless you. I have another question on late fee. Alhamdulillah, Allah gave you knowledge and health to answer these questions. In one of your video, you said that late fee, money on money is haram. Now I just wanted to know, is late fee in a library for delaying returning of the book taken is halal or haram? Jazakallah khair. May Allah bless you and give you better life in this world and especially in the hereafter. A similar question is asked by another person. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I am Asif Kazi from Mumbai, India. Is it permissible to charge late fee for delaying the payment of school fees or rent of an apartment? Can we sign contracts in which is stipulated a late fee at the percentage of 1% of the rent per month or something similar? and take care that we will not make the payment late, thus not involving in interest or riba. The question asked by the brother this, the first question is that I had said that late fee is haram, so if you return a book late in the library, are we allowed, is it permitted to charge late fee, can we give late fee? And a similar question is asked by a person that can a school, if we delay the school in payment of the school fees, can the school charge late fee and is it permitted in Islam or a rent of an apartment if you pay it later than the due date? Can the owner of the apartment charge late fee? Is it Islamically permitted? As far as charging a late fee if the payment is delayed, for example, if there is a school fee which has to be paid by the 10th of every month. And if the school says that if you pay after the 10th of the month, you have to pay a late fee of 100 rupees or 50 rupees or $2 or $5, this is not permitted in Islam. It will be counted as riba. If you delay any payment and for that you charge additional money, it is nothing but riba and it is haram. It is Islamically a haram contract. A school cannot charge late fee just because of delayed payment or if you are paying the rent of an apartment and the due date is fifth of a month and if you delay by one week and if the contract says that if you delay by one week you have to pay so much percentage one percent of the of the rent or per month or you pay a fee this is money paid for the money given late for delayed payment is nothing but riba it's money on money it's haram but natural, in a contract where payment has to be given for the rent of an apartment or for school fees, you can be strict on a due date. If it's delayed, you can put conditions like, okay, it will not allowed or you can stop him from entering, attending school, but you cannot charge extra money because he paid money late, it is rava, it's haram. So in the earlier answer, I don't know which answer you are referring to. If it's charging late fee for delayed school fees, it is haram. What you can do is you can tell, okay, if you, if you pay your late fees late, you will not be allowed to attend school. That's permissible. But you cannot charge a late fee. This is not permitted in Islam. And I'm aware that if you don't charge late fee, the person will not pay. What are you going to do? And we had this problem in India when we had a school. And we used to say that, okay, if you don't pay, then there's a reminder sent one week late, then two weeks late, then one month late. The person doesn't know what going to do. So unfortunately, we can say, okay, your child may not be allowed to attend school, which is not what we want to. But if it's too many weeks or months delayed, you can stipulate it, but you cannot charge extra fee because it's money on money given late, which is riba, it's haram. So late fee cannot be given late fee cannot be charged or a penalty cannot be charged in money for any money which is given late this is islamically not permitted but regarding a question that if i am taking a book on rent from a library and if i delay in returning can he charge a late fee yes well if he's charging you one dollar per book per week and if you give it late he can charge you additional rent that's permitted or if he's selling that you take the book free. But if you return, after one week I'll charge you, that is permitted. 
He is not charging money for the money giving late. But if you are renting a product and if you delay in giving the rent and if he is charging you additional rent, it is permitted. He cannot charge you a late fee for the money given late. That is riba. But if he is charging you extra because you are delaying in giving the book back which is on rent. So if you are hiring a book from a library, one dollar a week or one dollar for two weeks, and if you delay in returning and he charges you more rent, it's permitted. He's charging you more rent because you're renting for a longer period. For example, if you rent a car for five days and you take it for another two days, you cannot say that I'll not charge more. He'll charge you additional rent for hiring the car for two more days. That's permitted. But if you hire the car for five days and you say I will not and you return back the car after five days and say I will give the money after one week, then charging more is haram. But if he takes the car for a longer period, like you ask, if you delay in returning the book, he can charge you extra rent because you have rented the book for a longer period. But charging a late fee just because you have given the rent late, like of an apartment, that is not permitted. Hope it's clear. So signing a contract also saying that you will give extra money if you pay late is also a haram contract. So in this thing you have to be careful that you have to change the words of a contract in such a way that it does not involve riba. But unfortunately most of the contracts that are there in most parts of the world, even in Muslim country, unfortunately have this clause of late fee, if you pay late etc. which is not Islamically correct. So Muslim having such a contract, if you are the owner of a of an apartment, if you rent an apartment and you put the clause that if you give late, you'll have to pay extra money, it's haram, you cannot make a contract, neither can you make such a contract for renting your apartment, neither can you sign a contract if you are renting the apartment from business. But unfortunately, what has happened that there are certain, there are many countries in the world where even the government says that if you pay the telephone bill late, you have to pay a late fee. Or if you pay the electricity bill, you have to pay late fee. So these contracts, you have no option of changing. If it's a private contract, see to it, you change it and that's what we do. We change the words of the contract. But if it's a government contract, it's not possible that the government will change the contract for you if you're a Muslim. So in such cases, the Fuqah has said that though it's a haram contract, where you may have to pay a late fee for giving electricity late, see to it that you don't give it late. See to it, you don't pay the electricity of the government late or pay for the telephone bill late, pay it on time and don't indulge in giving a late fine. Yet, signing the contract is yet not permitted but the Fuqah say you ask forgiveness from Allah because you cannot, it is a zarorat, it's a requirement for you to take electricity and that comes from the government or from a company which is not willing to change. So in this case, there are the last resort in such contracts you can sign, yet it is wrong and you ask forgiveness from Allah and see to it that you don't delay and you pay on time and you ask forgiveness from Allah and inshallah Allah will forgive you. But charging late fee for late payment Islamically is not permitted in Islam. And signing such contracts also, if it's for personal contracts of renting a flat, which the person see to it that you draft the contract as per the Sharia laws. It's difficult, but it's possible. It's difficult. You have to convince them. You have to give them this. You can say put more stricter clause that if I delay in payment once or twice, you can kick me out of the apartment, no problem. Put clause which are more strict, but putting a clause which involves riba is haram. Hope that answers the question.